Hi, this is Kristen from Over the Moon Oracle Cards, and this is a DIY Oracle tutorial. What I'm going to be showing you is how to take the graininess out of an old book illustration. And I consider this more of a beginner level project. You just need one app for it. It's called Noise Master. And the Noise Master app really just does one thing. It removes the noise or graininess. And um, there are lots of, lots of apps that will do the same thing. This is just an app that I really prefer to give the look that I'm looking for. So if we can look at these two pictures, they're the same picture. This is an old book illustration um, by Arthur Rackham. And this is the photo. This is the illustration that I found on a website called oldbookillustrations.com. I'll show you that in a minute. And then this is the final version after I denoised it in Noise Master. So you can see the graininess, particularly in the sky area, and how that smoothed out. And it really depends on what kind of look you want to achieve, but this is this is what I really prefer. A lot of a lot of the uh, graininess to be smoothed out. Um, it has kind of a dreamy quality to me as well. So that's really what I'm going for. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So the first thing I want to do though is take you into um, oldbookillustrations.com, and this is a really really great website um, to use if you're making any decks that you want to use old book illustrations and there are a lot of different choices you can look in all illustrations you can do advanced searches for things but the area that I usually go into it's kind of like a secret area here is the blog and and the blog is really just every day they post old book illustrations um, I'll just kind of show you, just kind of scrolling down. Um, they just post kind of random. They're, they're not um, sorted by any particular thing. Um, they're just, there's just a list of old book illustrations. Okay. And you can just keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. But what I usually do when I get on here is I go to the archive grid. I'm just going to show you that. The archive grid just shows you everything uh, for the month, like it's month by month. So we're looking at January 2016. And so this gives you a nice overview of everything that they posted on the blog in January so far. And it's just an easier way to look for images. Um, if you scroll through and you find an image that you want, you can just tap on it and that image it'll go right back to that page that we were just on and so i really find a lot of things here doing that that process what we're going to do though i want to go to the list of featured illustrators because i'm looking for a particular illustrator um, the artwork that we're looking for is by arthur rackham and if you're familiar with his work, it's, it's very popular. There are actually a couple of Oracle decks out on the market now that feature Arthur Rackham's illustrations. It's a very unique style of artwork and his um, artwork is very detailed. And some of that detail makes it look a little bit more grainy after it's been digitized and everything. So that's one of the reasons why I really like to apply this process to it. We're going to use this photo and if you look down here it says higher resolution i just tap on that and this is giving me a higher resolution of the photo um, to save it and i'm on my ipad mini i just tap and hold and then i would do a save image and now that image is is going to be saved in my camera roll so the next step i'm going to do is go to noise master and this is the app and I want to open that app and I'm going to choose an existing photo. Okay, so all I'm going to do is pull up that photo that I just uh, saved. Okay, and so 
Now what we're going to do, and like I said, this app really just does one thing, it reduces the noise. And there's a little sliding scale here at the bottom. And all we're going to do is slide it. I'm going to slide it all the way across just so you can see the difference. You can see the, the sky and everything is very smooth now. Um, just everything has a much smoother quality. It's almost like a glassy kind of quality. Sometimes 100% is too much. And for this, I think I'm going to dial it back to um, 65. And you can see over here in the corner the, the numbers, okay, of where, where you are. Okay. And so we're going to keep it at 65. The only thing that we need to do is just save it now, this little um, arrow in a box. We just hit that and we're going to do save image. Okay, and that's it. Now you have your image and you can uh, upload it to, um, you know, Printer Studio. That's what I would be doing with it or whatever you'd like to do. Now you have your final image. Let's just go and check it out real quick. Um, and there it is. That's your final image that we did in Noise Master. Hope you enjoyed this little tip. I've got a lot more tips to come.